question. What museum would include on its list of exhibits a 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 Roadster, a steam locomotive, antique tractors, and a rocket-powered land speed record car? The answer, only one. The Auto and Technik Museum in Sinsheim, Germany. Even before you go in, you're tipped off as to what awaits you inside just by the unique signage out front. When you buy your ticket and pass through the robotic ticket taker that greets you here, you're shuttled into a daffy, delightful universe of mechanical mirth and significant vehicular history. And unlike many museums, the Auto and Technik Museum is kind of like a big game of show and tell. We are a club, a non-profit organization with 2,000 members. All you see inside the museum belongs to our members and are on loan in the museum. That's the reason why every car you see is in driving condition and is held in driving condition by the owner. So we don't want to have dead cars. We want to have living cars. Actually, every exhibit in the museum seems to have a life of its own. Inside this huge complex, it's easy to just stand in one spot and try to comprehend all you see before you. And it's a museum that is constantly changing. We are very happy that we don't have to own everything by the museum. So for every piece, there is an owner. And uh, that makes it possible to change something. If you have a museum which is uh, owned by the museum, museum's pieces, you see them for the next 100 years. And here we call up the owners and ask them to drive their vehicles because when you don't drive them, they get hurt. They, they, they are not living vehicles anymore. And so if somebody owns a Rolls Royce, he takes it out for a ride and bring his Bentley. So you always have uh, the museum very, very full. Some of the more paranormal exhibits include the Blue Flame Land Speed Record Car that Gary Gavilich drove to a speed of 622 miles an hour in 1970. Kaiser Wilhelm II went hunting in this Rolls touring car over 80 years ago, while Emerson Fittipaldi went Formula One racing in this March in 1978. A Rolls aircraft engine shares the limelight with this Maybach diesel engine that powered this German U-boat in 1917. It's uh, not a boring museum. You have a lot of variety for your eyes. It's because of the variety of the exhibits. Any auto museum would be thrilled to have an original 1936 Jaguar SS100, a 1954 Corvette, a 1932 supercharged Mercedes, or a Bugatti 57 designed by a Tory Bugatti's own son, Gene. But they probably couldn't pair them up with an antique German beer truck, a vintage sailplane, or solar-powered race car and the museum frequently conducts questionnaires with its visitors to make sure everybody agrees on what should be on display. We are very close to the meanings of our visitors. That's very important to run the museum in this way because, uh, and it's, wonder, it's wondering how many visitors are coming. That's amazing. We have about 500,000 visitors a year. The mechanical marvels also include an impressive lineup of antique calliopes and organ machines. Herman cranked up a few for us, including a player piano that belts out what song? It's Hello Dolly on a Bechstein Welte. And um, it, it's not only able to play classics, it also plays modern music. This obtuse exercise in archival compatibility is a perfect example of the old saying, neither fish nor fowl. And when asked, Herman admits this wonderland of the unexpected has definitely grown on him. When I'm out somewhere, I get homesick. You hear the hammer in the background, you hear music, you hear uh, 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 moving cars. It's, it's all together. It's, a, it's not to come in the museum to look at one or two cars. It's the whole feeling with it, what I like, the, the atmosphere. It's like electricity in the air. I, I like the, the style and the sound. Style and sound. There's plenty of that just inside the Auto and Technik Museum in Sinsheim, Germany.